So I heard that you want to dress better in 2024, but do not know where to start. Well, you have come to the right place because I have tips for you to follow to get started. Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle, content creator and personal stylist slash wardrobe editor. Starting with number one, you need to know what your body type is. Yes, you can wear whatever the heck you like. That is your business. That is your problem. But there's something about knowing what silhouettes work better with your body and how to proportion certain items. So for example, I'm a busty, petite, curvy woman. So if we go by the rules, I'm not, I cannot wear a maxi skirt. I guess what girl? I wear it, but I know what type of to wear with it. That way it looks cohesive. It doesn't look odd. Also knowing your body type, in my opinion, I believe is crucial for when it's time to go shopping. That way you know which silhouettes you should stay clear from and what to go um to and um, what to go look for when you go to a store. Because we tend to go shopping and we like this, we like that. And we immediately add to cart, make a little line, purchase, then bring the item home. We hate it. It doesn't look how it looked on the mannequin or how it looked online on the model. But most of the times, we forget to return it and or we put it away in our closets and it just stays there, tack on and everything. So we're trying to avoid overconsumption, traffic to the stores. And just making your life a little bit better because we know how hard life it is. Number two, you need to clean out your closet. We got to get rid of those holy shirts. We got to get rid of those pants that you, that you have from high school that you're waiting to lose weight. Honey, you look amazing the way you are right now. We do not need to wait to lose weight to wear certain items. We got to live in the present, not in what could be in the future. Having the right clothes that fit that you look like a badass because let me tell you, you look good, you feel good. So why wouldn't you want clothes that fit like a glove on your body? Number three, you need to survive into trends and influencer culture because it is not sustainable. It is very unrealistic. I believe that it is super important to invest in staples. I'm not saying um, capsule wardrobe because what my idea of a capsule wardrobe might be different from yours. For example, I love blazers. I'm a blazer queen, especially the more masculine ones with broad shoulders, super oversized. And for me, that is part, that would be part of my capsule wardrobe, but it might not be the same case for you. So stepping away from the capsule wardrobe, I do believe there should be staples, key items that belong in our wardrobe that we can use on a everyday basis, on our everyday life. And yes, you can buy trends. For example, silver is in right now and red i have bought into those trends but not heavily it doesn't consume my closet i just paired those little trends that i love with my regular basics number four you need to define your personal style because going hand in hand with number three if you keep buying into every trend and into everything that you see on social media then you are going to feel a little bit disoriented and some things you may like others it's like eh i don't feel great at this so something that can help you with is by one going on pinterest and just creating a mood board the other one is the three word method where you would describe your style in three words so it can be masculine oversized and sporty and you will base all of your outfits all of your pieces in your closet based on these three words it's like oh you see a shirt does it go with any of those three vibes that I have going on? And that way you can get started. But if you look in your closet and you see a lot of boho pieces, but you don't really resonate with that, 
you gotta go because it, it's not part of it. And a good way to start this exercise is during the closet clean out process. That way you can see what you wear the most, what you never wear, and also the what you don't know how to wear, but you will love to wear them. And by eliminating the nevers, what you never wear, you can come up with your three words based on what you always wear and why you look a badass in. Because let's be honest, I am an alpha repeater and I know that a blazer and a good pair of jeans and some heels, that is my badass outfit. And coming in number five is to take time, at least 20 minutes out of your day, maybe on a Sunday, to plan your outfits for the week. It sounds a little bit extreme, but it is nice to set some time apart, look at what you have in your closet, look at what you want to wear, and try different combinations of key items that you have in your closet to wear for the week. The girls might not like it. I get dressed based on my mood, and my mood is different every day. But if we have certain items already picked out that you can choose from to make your mornings easier as you're getting ready for work to drop off your kid at school whatever the case may be i highly recommend it especially also taking time in the morning to get dressed because yes we have planner outfits but we need time to digest it to look at ourselves in the mirror to see if we need to change the shoe if we need to add another accessory instead of rushing because one thing about getting dressed to look good you feel good, it makes you more confident and it just makes your day better. If you're in the morning rushing, putting things together that you don't even have time to digest and look in the mirror and see what's going on, then you leave the house and you don't feel comfortable. I'm not saying it's gonna ruin your day, but you're not gonna be as confident as if you took the time to look it together. Anyways, this is all I have for you today. Let me know what you think. If you actually try any of this tips or if you do them on a regular basis or anything else that i should have included that works for you on your styling journey getting dressed and journey and thank you for being here i'll see you on the next one bye i hope that came out good because girl, girl all right